good evening and welcome to Off The Shelf, the Poison Collectors Club Australia. We have been absent for a fortnight, but um, we're going to try this again. And joining me tonight, we have Bill. Hello. Hello, Bill. How you doing, man? Good. How's your week been? Yeah, flat chat. Flat, flat chat. chat. Flat chat. How about yours? Uh, yeah, about the same. Um, dealing with spoilers and people that want to ignore them on me. Uh, two Jurassic Park or Jurassic World groups. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Maybe, we sort of had. Now. Yeah, 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 but we had an embargo in to uh, Monday. Yep. So there's no no spoilers to be posted. Uh, we set up an event or a separate page mm -hmm. to uh, if you've seen it, talk about it there, and people are ignoring that. So they've been warned and warned. So I'm just removing people now. Yeah. <laughs> And bring out the hammer. Yeah, the old band hammer's <laughs> old band in action. <laughs> it doesn't carry the same weight there, but still. No, no, bring it out anyway. Give it a swing. Yeah. So, yeah, that's all been happening. Yeah, so that happened today. <laughs> I had a quite an interesting experience. I went to, uh, I went to my local bank to get some money out. And um, yep. I was where... <laughs> As, as you did, do. Did, did you say? Did you did you have the balaclava on this time? <laughs> no, and I wasn't wearing the prime helmet either. Oh, okay. Well, that rules that out mm. then. Oh. And um, the uh, the uh, what would you call it? The checkout chick? No. The teller. The teller. The teller. <laughs> she was um, I was wearing me purple Decepticon TCCA shirt, right. and um, she's looked at it and gone, oh. And this is paraphrasing. I like that. Can I buy that from somewhere? Oh, okay. And I said, yeah, it's uh, it's actually the T-shirt of our club. And I said, it's available. You can buy it now. It's on our, it's yeah. on the, um, the designer's website. And she's like, yep. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries, no worries. And she sort of looked at, across to because uh, there was free tellers on. Uh, mm -hmm. Looked across to one end to the other. And so it's Transformers. <laughs> yeah. And um. And all of a sudden, there's this. Oh, yeah, I'd love the love the Transformers, love the movie. And then one of the, I think it was the oldest one in the uh, in the area, was started talking about. Oh, I love the cartoon and how at the end there was that wow. big floating head. And I'm thinking, okay, I won't go into. The... <laughs> I, I, I won't correct you. And um, no, no, no. She uh, she said, oh, you. And the one I was talking to, she said, oh, you have to uh, write the. Uh, Right down the address where I can get them from. So I grabbed yeah, the. Uh, yeah. Of course, I had all, all my business cards for the group were in the car. I was not no, expecting no. it. So preparation, man. Yeah. Preparation. So out comes the pen and paper and wrote down the uh, the website for the the uh, t shirt supplier. And um, yep. I said to her, look, there's a uh, male female shirts, singlets, kid size mm -hmm. as well um, that you want. Write down the website and the Facebook group as well. I haven't gone to the uh, group to see if they've actually applied yet, but um, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. she was she was loving it. <laughs> so nice. She a bit of all right, or the uh, the one to the left definitely was, and I was I was yeah, upset. Yeah. That, I was upset that uh, I wasn't called to her. <laughs> her yeah. station first, but just 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 whisper it so like you, oh, you know. Oh, you, oh, I'm getting that <clears throat> from the missus. <laughs> 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 ba -ba <-ho>. right, so, <laughs> needless to say, you'll be making a few more <laughs> in branch deposits when you can. I'll be doing some deposits whenever I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's that <clears throat> again. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. The, the new bumblebee is really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like, I like great, the yellow. It's a great bumblebee, I think. Yeah, mm. yeah, because yeah, awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bumblebee. Woo! Oh yeah. Mm. Nothing going on here. Just, yeah. just carry on. So, the wife, <laughs> so that was good. <coughs> I got, uh, I got notification from the uh, New South Wales rep that the. My uh, tub of Transformers arrived on Friday. Oh, cool. Which I was happy cool. about, considering uh, there seemed to be some sort of delay on the uh, OzPost website, the tracking, mm -hmm. which last yep. time that happened, my stuff went to Perth. Wow. Um, unfortunately, the banners did not turn up with them when they were sent at the same time, so okay. there's an issue there. Hopefully, Monday, they turn up. They might have just been on a separate truck or something. Yeah, you got tracking on them, yeah. though, yeah? Yeah, but they'll both right. they'll both sent on the same tracking form. 
Oh, oh so it's two items, one yeah. packing number. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. So I don't know what's going on there. Um, hmm. Yeah, to have one one arrive and the other one not, that's uh, odd. And I knew I should have just wrapped them all together in the same bundle yeah. of plastic wrap, but I didn't. I'm trying to keep weight down, but... Um, yeah. Oh, they'll turn up. I mean, it's it's not it's not uncommon for you know separate parcels, even though they're marked with the same tracking number, to be delivered separately. Well, that's right. And I sold my armory yeah. a fortnight ago, and it went to uh, Sydney last week or the week before, and um, yeah. it got up there in two days. Because um, mm-hmm. unfortunately, it's got to go to Melbourne first before it can be sent to Sydney. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or to Seymour yeah. anyway, and um, yeah, went up there and got delivered to the wrong address. <laughs> And then, as, as, yeah, as you do, and then you two days know. later it was available for pickup at the post office. So, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I might have, ah, I might have post. saved, I might have five, saved five or six bucks by sending the Oz Post, not courier, but yeah, next time, man, just give the extra five bucks. Hey, just, well, I was on the, uh, pe- I was on the Qantas mind. website yesterday, seeing what I can uh-huh. do, and you're allowed the twenty three kilos for baggage. And it only cost you yep. thirty dollars to add an extra bag to your list, so mm-hmm. it was thirty six to send that stuff up there. I could have added the extra bag for thirty and just had a suitcase and put it all in mm-hmm. that. So yeah. I'll ah oh, listen. Well, yeah, it's all going to come back, so I might uh, I might just take a second suitcase inside my current suitcase and um, yep. to take up and then just add an extra lot of baggage to the return flight. That's and then it. just pay the, uh, I think it was twenty one bucks to send the banners up. They can they can get posted back yeah. or whatever else. I mean, it's just it's just worth it for peace yeah, of mind, isn't it? All that insurance. You, know? Shit. you don't want that stuff to go missing. No. Mm. All righty then. Transformers Collectors Club Australia. We are on Facebook. We are available through regular channels. Uh, most of you already know we are on Facebook at Transformers Collectors Club Australia. Uh, international listeners, you can check us out at the Off The Shelf Facebook page. And you can head over to Twitter, where we are at Transformers CCA. Or lastly, you can go to the website, which is www.autobotheadquarters.net slash wpauto. Excellent. And Australian listeners, you can become a paid and proud member of the club for just how That's many dollars, Brad? <laughs> That's a fiver. So just send a private message to Brad Ostrom Prime to get your membership underway. And the fees go to the purchase of raffle prizes, participation at events like Supernova and more. How many paid and proud uh, members we, we are got? sitting at 89 paid and proud, and our social member count is... 1,092, which is down two from yesterday, so I don't know what happened <laughs> there. But uh, I probably <laughs> should change the uh, what the membership fees go to because we are building for our second mm. birthday. And Fantastic. Well, if you, put, if you put the hammer away, we might get to 1,100. Put, well, Brad. we have Nova next week, so... <laughs> just, just saying... It's just saying, man. Like I know, I know you like gripping the shaft and swinging mm. it, but like... Let's There's get to 1100. A nice warm shaft. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it is. Only 14 minutes in. <laughs> uh, also, the uh, <laughs> the show notes for the, these episodes are posted on the Facebook group each day. Obviously, they don't meet the 140 character <laughs> Twitter <laughs> thing, so <laughs> so it's best to either check out the Facebook group or the Facebook page to uh, see the show notes, see what we're talking about. And I am posting the website, uh, the, the website, the podcast onto YouTube where you can listen along and actually see what we are talking about. Um, yes, now, Excellent. a little bit of housekeeping. The Last week we had the Supernova, uh, Supernova Donation Drive. A massive thank you to everyone that contributed. Um, it's been... It's been really good. It uh, made made me one grateful admin. Uh, we raised the money on Ed to send uh, my figures and the club banners to Sydney and back again. Um, 
plus added a little bit extra to the kitty, which is going towards something big we are organising for September and August. So we had our four Ooh. winners, which were uh, Tim Spurrick, Ian, Shane, and Dylan. Um, they all have their figures on their way now. Uh, a massive thank you to those people and to the 34 people that uh, entered or donated, I should say. Um, your donations were greatly appreciated and we look forward to helping the club out further in the future. And on a sadder note, the uh, Cybertronian Chronicles for this month uh, has not been issued. We've uh, Our editor, Chris, he's um, been snowed under at work, etc. So at this current stage, mm -hmm. it's not continuing until we can find someone that can... Uh, pick up that workload which isn't much uh, I just need to I'll, I'll get all the uh, stuff organised and sent through I just need someone that's got Photoshop I've got the uh, template and everything um, yeah I just I just can't afford $200 to buy Photoshop to do it so so yeah if there's anybody out there that's handy and available to work with Photoshop yeah it's basically, it's basically just uh, just assembling it an email on the finished product back to me, so, mm -hmm. and we can we can continue with that. Continue on. Mm. We break for no bond, Brad. <laughs> we break for no one. Nothing's gonna get in our way. In our way. Not tonight. <laughs> Not tonight. <laughs> oh God, I hate hot rod. Okay. <laughs> Where's Daniel when you need him? <laughs> this week's featured YouTube reviews. Okay, we've got Kai McFly. You can find him at Cool Collectibles. So he's posted up a review of the Leader Class Ultra Magnus. Mm, with Dimbus. Dimbus, yes. We know how much you love Dimbus. <laughs> uh... Most definitely. So be sure to check that out. And if you are a regular YouTube reviewer or even a budding one and you want to get a little kickstart, you can get your name out there, send us a link, post it up on the TCCA page. First off from Hasbro, this is uh, something from last week that uh, we didn't mm -hmm. cover, and it's uh, some box, Im box art images of the uh, Voyager Starscream. No, Leader Starscream. Leader Starscream, yeah, yep. Yep. And um, he definitely looks like Thundercracker. Might add a crown. Hmm. Looks 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 like he's related to Jetfire. You, can you see the resemblance? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 I see a lot of Jetfire in him. I don't know. Like... Yeah, more so than Thundercracker. They've uh, mm. maybe this is a a redo of the Jetfire mold, not the Thundercracker remold. Yeah, like there's definitely. I mean, I thought it was a new mold. You know, but <laughs> silly me, <laughs> of course. It's, uh, Asbro. Yeah, but he's got a crown. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one can only guess that the crown's removable. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. So, yep. it'll be... It'll but be yeah, nice. for lovers of that mould, and so hopefully we'll see Acid Storm and Sunstorm <laughs> and Shitstorm and Ice Storm and McFlurry and all the rest of them coming out soon. Have I missed anyone? <laughs> Ice Storm. <laughs> yeah. Hailstorm. Mm. He'd make a good seeker, actually. Devastator. Uh, oh, last yeah. week we seen a leaked shot of the SDCC version with his uh, mm -hmm. freshly coloured paint, and now we yep. have the official images with its very shiny paint. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm liking, I'm liking this a lot more, but not for the expected price. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's currently. I've seen pre orders for about 180 US. Mm. Yeah, Dylan posted a link up somewhere. I think it was a Robo. No, I can't remember. I'll have to find it again. But yeah, 180 US. Looking at the. Uh, Plus shipping. Down the bottom of the selection, he's got an uh, image of him in the box with the card open, the front open. Yep, yep. <sighs> mm -hmm. This is one I'll very. I'd very much love to have displayed in box, just like oh, definitely just like that the, with the side card open. But yep. Um, but each looking at the individual modes and that, 
you've obviously got the the stickers and that chrome paint added. Um, mm-hmm. It's definitely adding more to the robot modes than the uh, than the alt modes. Um, mm. They're all they've all they're all still well, even, suffering. Even they're all still the suffering from their joint issues. So. Oh yeah, it's nothing new. They haven't modified the joints or anything. They haven't adjusted. Oh my god! You see the photo of Mixmaster? Bot or alt mode? Bot. He looks like Beast Wars Inferno. The big. Oh. Yeah, it's like hanging <laughs> off the back of him. <laughs> oh, I never noticed that before. <laughs> <laughs> That's almost touching the ground. <laughs> it is. It's like black arachnid's uh, ass. It's just huge. He's going to drop some eggs oh, on the God, ground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear Lord. Yeah, scavenger looks all right. Yeah, the bot modes are... But rough, even... You know. They're just the G1. Yeah, it's blown even up, Mixed really, Masters, aren't they? You know? uh, alt mode sort of adds more detail to it to make it look more like a cement truck and just not a backwards-facing <laughs> cement truck. And I think we've got... Uh, I think someone posted on the. I think Alex posted on the group today. Is a. Uh, oh, really? The Transformers will return after these messages. And more Autobots join Optimus Prime. Cup. Reminds me of the battle on Beta 4. Hot Rod. Watch my smoke. Blur. Hey, baby. NATO. And these are the new Decepticons, the evil Cyclonus. I'm spying for a fight. And Scourge. No one escapes the sweep. But soon a new Autobot leader will arrive, introducing Rodimus Prime. No one can take on the Decepticons like Rodimus Prime. Transformers. The Transformers each sold separately from Hasbro. In the world of the Transformers, nothing is what it seems. Meet the Constructicon, six evil robots that transform into one mechanical giant. The Transformers, more than the The Transformers, Constructicon's gift set sold separately from Hasbro. We now return to the Transformers. So, Devastator. Um, it's probably going to be hard for us to find him here, but uh, or to import him. A BBTS might have a run come through. The SDCC version you're talking about? Yeah, yep. Yeah, no, apparently he's coming to Oz Comic Con. Oh. Which one? <laughs> uh, both of them, I think. Hmm. Is there two or three? Sydney, Melbourne, or what is it? I oh, know there's Sydney, Melbourne. Is there Brisbane, yeah. Brisbane, or Perth? It might be, yeah, one of them. Oh, but yeah, apparently, Perth, um, Perth, yeah, Perth had theirs the week before. Melbourne, Nova. Yeah, so Oz Comic Con will um, supposedly, if all goes to plan, we'll have the SDCC version of Devastator available. Mm, we'll just have to wait and see what his retail yeah. is going to be. That's it. The, uh... I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> Optimus Maximus. What the hell, mind, Karatomi, what's going on here? Yes, um... We had posts early in the week of, uh... Some new character art. Mm-hmm. For an Optimus Maximus. Yep. And, uh... It may have been early March when I said these figures were coming. Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I didn't add you to the call. I don't know, I just seen an incoming call mm-hmm. and I just pressed off we go. Oh, okay. Welcome Jordan <laughs> to the call. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> after fifteen attempts. Uh, uh, did you get go did, go it after. Oh, yeah. Did you get the uh, show notes emailed to you? I did, thank you very much. Okay, we're currently up to the Optimus Maximus artwork. Okay, cool. Well, I'm on my phone again, so I'll have to keep sort of, you know... All right, well, it's only a, it's only a, uh, a branded image similar to uh, Transformers Legends artwork. Okay. Of, yeah, uh, he, he's not doing much. He's just standing there and pointing while missiles he's doing the two fly fi- around him and yeah, the two doing fi- his thing. 
the two yeah, finger no. point. Yeah, and it uh, looks like there's a plane about to hit a building. <laughs> and there's missiles and stuff blowing up, and he's just pointing. So yeah, yeah. awesome. So we got uh, Einhide's a leg, Sunstreak is an arm, Jazz is a leg, and Mirage is an arm. So and Rodimus is the chest. Yeah, he's the chesticle. I think. Hang on, is that Prowl? Prowl's the Prowl's the other leg. Sorry. Oh, Prowl, not Jazz. Yeah. Yeah. My bad. So yeah, Rodimus is the man boobs, and um, mm-hmm. there you go. Yep. Another repaint, highly interesting stuff. I can tell you boys are keen on this. <laughs> uh, let's get something we might be keen on. Takara Tomy have uh, prototype images up for their Legends Nightbird, Slipstream, and Black Arachnia. Now, once it's loaded, uh, somewhat of a remold of some figures we have and a new mold. Although the black... That's it. Animated. Oh, the animated black rack now, yeah, okay. Uh, I suppose. It well, looks like they've given her a new crotch tits and uh, head. I love how I love how they're just sitting out in front and you gotta fold them over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they can't find any other use for them. Yeah, just put them yeah. out in front. <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah. These I don't think we need to comment much on them until we see them in colour. Colour like Yeah, full, full well they're colour. just they're just the existing Black Arachnia, Windblade, and RC molds, really. Yeah. Yeah, well, you can't really speculate much apart from it, apart from um, different heads on them, I suppose. Oh. But also the, the, the remold of RC, but... Just hang on, mm. just hang on for a minute. I've got another one of those annoying ads. <laughs> oh, I didn't click on it to enter it. It's our biggest breakthrough. Fucking Energizer. All right, continue, Jordan. Sorry. No, no, no. You're right. I was just saying. Yeah, apart from um, the the different molds on the heads, mainly the RC one, you can't really sort of speculate on colour or anything like that as to how they really look. Like, if these like... if these were to come out here in retail, I'd grab them because we haven't got the original versions here at retail. It's um, true. I have. But, um... RC is coming, Brad. Yeah, well, I'll keep your fingers crossed for that one. No, it's going to be a Toys R Us import, just like Stinger was. Oh. Yeah. Actually, I did say that. Yeah, the... Um, mm. Sorry, boys, you, fit, you go, you go, Bill. No, sorry, Jordan, go on. I was just going to say, our good friends down at um, Premium... Uh, premium Killing. Down at... Um, what are they called? Bloody... Pleasant Pleasant Village. Village. Pleasant surprises. They've got a little one of those RCs, but it's the first, the first release of, of it. Apparently, they were, I was down the other, uh, the other day, and they were telling me that the first release has got the open sort of hands. And it's it got, depends. Got, yeah, it depends yeah. where it come from. Mm. Okay. There's a there's there's two. They're the same release, but uh, I guess the Cara have the open hands, and the Hasbro have the closed. Yeah, yeah. Or one or well, two. Mentioned something about the closed ones. Yeah, the closed ones you got to file them open, or you got to file them out a bit so the guns actually fit in there. <laughs> yeah, really. And then the open ones flex and they can't hold the gun or something. So that's, that's what he was saying. Yeah, about this one because it's the open open hand mold. Yeah. Yep. They've got that one down there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and looks all right. I thought they were they were um, a bit bigger. You know, maybe maybe an inch bigger or something like that, but quite it looks quite good, I thought. Yeah, yeah, no, I'd I'd love to get my hands on one, but <laughs> mm. sort of retail now. They've if you can find them online, they're sort of because they are a rarer figure now. Uh, prices have gone up, so it yeah, might be just... a, it might be a BBTS pile of loot on clearance or something, or a, yeah. Amazon. <laughs> yeah. No, well, like you were saying, if, if they were to release those um, those three um, out here, you'd be you'd be silly not to get your hands on them, sort of quick smart. Oh, definitely. Like I mean, BBTS have already got them up for thirty US each, which yeah. is about what thirty eight dollars, uh, thirty five. Yeah, without shipping. <laughs> without shipping, and like for for the mold that you know, ninety percent of the people that have got the generations lines already have, you know. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. it kind of feels like they're just, you know, just going, oh, well, who else can we do now? Let's do Nightbird. 
Well, exactly, and yeah, they are repaints. Yeah. yeah. Like that, that black arachnia from Animated is a nice figure, but mm-hmm. I wouldn't buy another mould of it. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. always shied me away from buying different... Uh, for, sorry, from buying figures as well as the remoulds of stuff, especially when they do a few of them as well. So I'll just bring something new out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. All right. Uh, this is one thing we were talked about last week. Uh, we're getting G2 Bumblebee here. And Yay. the link doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it goes to box art. Anyway, we uh, Toys R Us are getting in the uh, G2 Bumblebee mm-hmm. gold version. Um, is, that, is that gold bug or? No. No, the G2 version of Bumblebee. Yeah, it's, gold just, one. Yeah. it's just the normal one with the coloured gold. I, okay, it it yeah. comes with a jetpack? Yeah. Yeah, yep. Which is too small for Prime to have, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. It, uh... I'd hate to know what to, uh, Toys R Us are going to ask for it. It's going to be $100 plus. Oh, so... easily. Well, they're, they're, they're already asking 130 for the Blue Streak, which is out now anyway. Which is absurd, so... Mm. Good luck to them. They can hang there. And we won't have Toys R Us selling Transformers for much longer at those prices. Yeah, you're not right. Oh, actually, on Masterpiece as well, I've got some maybe a bit of a bit of Masterpiece news for for later on. I'll save it for for later on surprise or something. Okay, we'll put in the uh, uh, put in a new edition. Hmm. All right. Um, where were we? Are we... Uh, Takara's got photos out of their Power Glide. It's Power Glide. It's just a nicer red. I do like that red better than the Hasbro version, but that's not a. Uh... Just bringing that up, you know. Yep. Bit darker, yeah. Yeah, it's a darker, more of a maroon than a mm. red. I don't mind mm. it. But... And the the grey's being replaced by the that lovely shade of. Is that lighter grey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a very, mm, and it's got the goofy sticker on it too. Yay! So mm. What's with that sticker in the middle? You can scan or something. You're saying, yeah? Yeah, there was a there's a game app that you just scan it or an app or yeah. something. You just scan it and it just unlocks you bits and pieces. So, but there's no Autobot symbol under it. So if you peel that sticker off, it's bare as <laughs> yeah. bare chested. That's it. <laughs> All right, third party news. This is something else. Oh, did someone drop out? No, no. Oh, okay. Uh, this is something we commented on last week, but was lost in the confusion. Uh, we've got our first look at Fans Toys Grinder, uh, or the Masterpiece Grimlock. Um, I think I've. I voiced my opinion then that uh, I was not a fan of the Dinobot mode. Yeah. Oh, no. There is no Dinobot mode. It's only the bot mode. <laughs> it's kind yeah. of... I thought the the, um, the Dino mode kind of looked a bit feminine in a way. Mm. I, I don't know what it was about it. Maybe maybe the eyes or something like that. Or There's definitely something about it that did that sort of... I don't know. It didn't have that fierce sort of Grimlock look about it. Mm. Yeah, and one, as I said last week, it's, they've made Scoria, Saw, and Sever all match MP8 in mm. aesthetic in dino mode, uh, just with the more flat panels, not much detail on the panels, and everything else. Now they've come to Grimlock, they can't do that aesthetic because it will be MP8, and they've tried to make... Mm. More detailed panels, more detail where they can. And it, anyway, uh, so yeah, it it looks like a nice Grimlock, but it's just going too over the top from MP8 for my. And and your as a this is going to be a two hundred dollar figure, so it's already sixty dollars more than MP08 at retail at the moment. So yeah. for for an inch or not even an inch higher stature. It yeah, won't well, be bigger. It won't be bigger in mass. It'll be just a little bit higher in the legs. You'd think. Yeah. Well, yeah. Instead, of, you might as well. You know, if you're really keen to sort of match up an MP8 with the rest of 
you know, the third party, you'd buy those boots for him, wouldn't you? Well, Scoria come with the boots, and you can have. Yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You could have you could have Grimlock up the back. You could have him on a little bit of a, a single riser, and then have all his Dinobot friends in front of him. Mm-hmm. And and like you could, there's plenty of dis, uh, display options where you could have him looking bigger, or as yes. big as the rest of the fans' toys figures. So yeah. they're gonna have a tough sell with this, and. There was word that maybe paddles would be coming out as well. I don't, I don't know why that would have come after Grimlock. Surely they'd do paddles first, then leave Grimlock as the uh, make or break at the end. But yeah, I don't, no, I, I don't think too many people want to paddles. <laughs> no. no, I think we made the comment last week as well about Grimlock that it was just sort of. An unnecessary release, really. Well, that MP8, that I have no issue with that MP8. The only issue I probably have with the MP8 is his tail to head gimmick, making the tail spin to or twist the tail to make the head spin one way or the other. Mm-hmm. It, oh, it's probably yeah, yeah. yeah, it's probably something it doesn't need. Um, yeah. It may it may hamper certain poses to twist the head or something because the tail will bring it back in the line or. Whatever yeah, else, but that's that's very minor. You can get a little bit of paper or something and jam in his tail to hold it in place, just so the head's pointing the other way. Like it's not it's not a design it's not a design issue or a aesthetic look. It's um something in engineering they over designed it back yeah. then when they were doing MP5 and everything else in the day. So yeah, well they've changed designers since then, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. Think- twice or maybe just once if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember any of it. Yeah. That was a good solid figure though. Yeah. Masterpiece good luck. Yeah. Yep. And speaking of Dinobots, uh, we have new images from uh, the uh, War Within Legends sized Dinobots. Which uh, War Within, they're the uh, the ones that scale to Generations Metroplex, aren't they? Bill? Yeah, the war in the pocket stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah all that small stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that name kills me. War in pocket. <laughs> oh, <dear>. oh, <laughs> I got a Titan class figure in my bed. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, shit. Alright, moving on. <laughs> These guys are bulky little figures. Boy, the looks yeah. of them. They do look it, don't they? Especially, I'm guessing on the far, what's that? The far left is it'd be, have to be uh, Sludge. Yeah, you'd think so. Yeah, and you got Swoop and Slag and Snarl. And Saws on the far right. Ah, oh, not Saws. Um, Snarl. Yeah. Slag, whichever one they keep on changing. <laughs> Stegosaurus. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I suppose we'll wait a couple of weeks. We'll see. We'll get some coloured photos of these and a uh, and a price. Surely it'd have to be it'd be 150 at least, 200 dollars for these. Being a five pack. Uh, I don't know. What are the? I'll have to look at what the prices of the double packs are. I think that'd be that much. Yep. Yeah. Still for legend size, they're legend size figures, I think, aren't they? Mm. Yeah. I mean, they're smaller than a can of Coke. That gives you an idea. Yeah, yeah. Which already puts a scale off because we had that uh, Warren Pocket Devastator a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, the one without the legs. Yeah, yeah I remember that. But, it, it, yeah. but it, it was it was about the same size as a can of Coke as well, so... Yeah. Oh, scale. Come yeah. now, <laughs> Scale, schmale. And they'll never get it right. Well, we're, we're going to peel some scales off now because we uh, we return to where the last week's podcast <laughs> ended. Um, mm. DX9's carry, or their Rodimus Prime. Now, the photos in the link are some coloured prototypes, but I think Alex Chin posted in the Facebook group today of final colour images complete with flames That's... and all. Mm. I... <laughs> When did the Autobots pick up a Seeker? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it just that wing, that big yellow wing on the back. I can't, I can't take that. Nah, same. I and agree with that. 
You know, it um, it becomes the side panels of of the um, the trailer of his of old mode. Yeah, around the so, hey, around the wheels or up on the top. No, he's the, the 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 rear end of him. You know, the trailer that he packs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that'll all fold out and uh, becomes the, part, the bag okay. there. And I'm guessing the gun is the target master. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, spot yeah. on. Yeah, it's his, that's, it's his little man doing the splits. That's not that little. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got the add-ons, like the, yeah. the little man's little, but you know. Yeah, I don't know from Jordan from playing with your MP9 at uh, Nova. I prefer that more than I'm saying here, even with its skeleton figures. <laughs> a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> I'll rape you, he man. <laughs> So what did you, which which one did you say you prefer? The yeah, MP9. <laughs> yeah, you, that one. Yeah, I'm not completely sold on this either. Hey, yeah. I'm not a fan of the um, that that big blue sort of strip across his chest when you when he's in robot mode. Well, that's the front of the car. That's the lights. Yeah, I know. But like be. even so, like. Well, it just that's right that, in the in the alt mode. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, but that being blue, that windscreen, the like the windshield should be blue as well, and it's not. Yeah, it's painted right. grey plastic. Um, yeah. And I think one of the biggest things against this is the fact that you can't take him out and put him in his trailer, which no. is what which is what Rodimus is. That's right. Uh, or the the cartoon anyway. Uh, the the original the, the original toy. Yeah. So. Mm, yeah. It seems to be all one piece, doesn't it? Yeah. Yep. Well, it is, yeah. So mm. it's not it's not adhering to the original toy, which yeah. has more pull for me than the 86 car uh, movie. But, uh, yeah, it's better. Yeah. It might pose well. It might not have scanner fingers. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Wait, and, wait. We'll see. Someone will get it in hand and... It might uh, it might look good transformed and everything else. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to wait till someone gets it in hand and gives us a full review. Yeah. Or mm-hmm. we'll just we'll just we'll just pick Lenny's brain. Yeah, mm. true. Um, oh, let's go into the toilet end of the podcast. Um, mm. <laughs> we've got uh, more writers added to the Transformers cinematic universe, and this week. I think the final rider was added. Um, yay. They can add who they want until they start producing something that's decent. I don't think we really need to comment on it. Um, now, uh, just to skip to the next one, they've uh, apparently there's 12 movies penned. <laughs> to, uh, <laughs> already, hey? Yeah, already. So... It seems like they've been busy then. Yeah, yeah. The uh, individually, yes, they might have had successes. Uh, I think the last person to be added, he uh, he done some work on the latest Daredevil Netflix series, um, and maybe one or two other shows. But if you have someone like Akiva Goldsmith or Michael Bay at the top of this uh, little group, um. Mm-hmm. History has shown us that someone might say, oh, let's do Ultra Magnus, and then... Oh, no, not Ultra Magnus. That was something else. Uh, let's let's do this, and at uh, the 12th hour, Michael Bay saying, wouldn't it be cool if something was something, and just completely... <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what he says. Oh, I was, no, I was thinking... I was thinking... Uh, Mara- uh, Ah, oh, god damn it. Um, no, I've lost it now. <laughs> Q. Q to Wheeljack. Wheeljack to Q and Mirage to uh, Dino. Mm, and yep. just just things like that. Like I remember uh, not too long ago I heard a interview with... Uh, it wasn't Alan Kruger. It wasn't... Uh, it was someone in the development of Dark, uh, Age of Extinction where there was a 45-minute plot of the Dinobots, what they mm. were, who they were, and everything else, and 
I, I'm not going to say it was Michael Bay, but someone said, no, this needs to be condensed. The movie's too mm. long already, and it was cut to a five-minute scene at the end. Mm. So, yes, we can have all these fantastic writers in. Um, similar to Marvel, they got a couple of good writers or directors in, and uh, heads butted and people left, so... Yeah. At the end of the day, it's whatever bloody Hollywood says goes, isn't it? Yeah, right. and you can't you can't argue with success. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the money, mate. Yeah, you got to follow the money, and um, unfortunately for fans, that uh, that's not going to lead to some good movies. But um, there might be one gem in amongst them. We'll just have to wait and see. Oh, definitely. There's not much more we can do, can we? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> oh, um, again, if you take them for what they're worth, it might be a different thing, but, you know, uh, you're always going to have your haters and stuff, I suppose. <laughs> I've only got this in here because I know Ray and a couple others, they're, uh, they're keen on battle tactics, and I tried it. I'm sorry. I just... I had no control. <laughs> I lost. <laughs> um, yeah, I there's yet. two... Yeah, there's two uh, updates coming up now. Um, Battletax have their Donobots Destruction, which is coming up. And um, two other ones are ending. Uh, I didn't have the Legends game on my phone, but the... Uh, well, it was quite good for a time, but it got very repetitive. Yeah, yep. It was just like a strategic card type game where you set up a team. Oh, you could, yeah. You know, mix, I did, I did have it. Yeah. yeah it, was quite, it was quite good, but as I said, it got uh, repetitive pretty quickly. My my like of it was the art, the card art. Mm, yeah, um, yeah, same, yeah. That was, that was very nice, but you, what I had to go to noticed. to unlock more cards to get more art and then couldn't... The best I could yeah. do was screen cap to save said art. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, and then yeah, they... sitting, there, sitting there trying to shoot down... I think it was Dirge. <laughs> like, oh, this yeah, is shit. Yeah, something like that. Oh, it was a bit... Oh, yeah. Not a bit, wasn't it? Yeah. But yeah, the screen... I mean, the the um, the card art was fantastic. And um, then they went to like a, a 3D and then they did like a transforming... You had to collect like a certain amount of a certain type of card and then it went to like a... A transforming card sort of thing. All the image transformed on the on the card. It looked pretty cool, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, I was going to say, have you noticed a lot of the um, the artwork from that um, is very very similar? If not, they they may have used the same images on the Combiner Wars stuff. You'd have it have to be the same artists. You'd think so. Yeah. Yeah. Just even that uh, that Optimus Maximus or what I'm going to call Masquerade Prime from earlier, it uh, <laughs> it it looks like that sort of art, like just that gritty, the darkened bot in that um, mm. background. I'm pretty sure a lot of the spoilers or the uh, upcoming figures come from Legends. They had the artwork either in there or the comics, and uh, that's how we knew. That's how we knew Defense Hall was coming. Mm-hmm. Um, and Devastator. Yep. There was Devastator photo. We didn't know it was going to be a Titan class, but we knew it was coming in Combiner Wars. So, yeah, it's great art, but um, the game itself, it just lacked. Um, and another game, the Age of Extinction mobile game, <laughs> which I don't have. I, I got... downloaded it, but I haven't brought myself around to playing it. I've got it more so than the sun, but no, nah, I haven't. Yeah. Nah. I think I've got it. I've got it on... No, it's not PSP. It's Revenge of the Fallen. No, so, yeah, yeah I've I've had no experience with this one. Um, but they're, uh, they're both coming to an end, which is sad, because you'd think if they were bringing all the, these Transformers games to an end, they may be starting a new one. Something that will have more of a mass fan base. <laughs> yeah, well, I think they were hoping that about the battle tactics thing, but um, I don't know how yeah, that's sort of fearing. I downloaded the game. It would have been... I don't know if it was after the 07 movie or after Revenge of the Fallen. 
Mm. It was on the i i device, and yep. it had the G1 characters on screen in sort of a a square for square battle. Yeah. I remember Starscream, Optimus Prime, and Megatron I had on screen, and something happened, and I could not access that game again. I don't know if it crashed, if it burnt, if it disappeared because of IP infringement or what, but Ooh. that, yeah, it was sort of a, it was sort of like, uh, what have we got, sort of like uh, Legends, or it was more like Battle Tactics. You sort of had, you're on the screen. And you had to make your way square by square and take out enemies as you met them or something yep. similar. Mm-hmm. But um, I seem to think it was called Transformers Battle Tactics. <laughs> That's probably yeah. why it was deleted, unless there was some sort of update and made it worse. But uh, yeah, anyway, <laughs> tis, yeah. tis that end. Um, so that is the end of the news. Uh, new additions. I still haven't opened Wheeljack or Red Alert yet. Um, mm. my new additions are paint and sandpaper to, uh, paint my Prime helmet. Uh, although one new addition come from, uh, Brett in Tassie. He, uh, answered the call of the 14th Prime and sent up, uh, me up with this Prime T-shirt to go oh, with, to go with my helmet. So Very good. It is it is a size or two too big, uh, mm-hmm. but I'm hoping well. I'm hoping when I get up to Sydney Nova, uh, when I get there on Saturday morning, because I know Melbourne had there was about three or four different T-shirt sellers in there. I'm hoping I can find something similar yeah, that I can yeah. uh, that I can buy. And um, but in the meantime, he sent that up. Um, Thank you very much. And worst comes to worse. You could always pop it in the wash and then straight into the dryer and <laughs> shrink it. That's it. Or just eat, just eat more. He gets, it, that, he, yeah. he gets it back and it's a singlet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I was sort of. You go. I was I was nearly gonna I was nearly gonna check out Rebel Sports or one of the sporting stores and see if I could find. Uh, I've got some motorcycle armor, mm-hmm. and I was nearly thinking of like putting that on and putting the shirt on over the top. Oh yeah. yeah. If it was an extra size bigger, I yeah. would because it's only one size. The sort of armor takes up too much space just to just to box box the shoulders and the, mm. the chest out a bit mm-hmm. uh, to sort of look more like prime. I've got uh, I've got the cab marker. Or the clearance lights here that uh, Prime's got in his top, like the I can make them blue or amber, uh, and yeah. stuff like that to make make a torso up mm-hmm. for later conventions. But um, in the meantime, yeah, I'm just painting. I've got the helmet painted. Uh, I got a spray can. It was supposed to be uh, aluminium, which the top was grey. So I thought it'd be a nice uh, nice grey for his face plate and the top of his crown. It's it's so shiny, isn't it? It's it's chrome. <laughs> <laughs> so it's gonna be a bit off being chrome onto that blue. But that blue is a lot better colour than what the original that original voice changer helmet was. It was a sort of a navy blue. This is a a, a dark blue, so mm-hmm. it's it's a it's a lighter a lighter blue and it, it looks just like the uh it looks like the MP ten head anyway. Which was good because it was only three dollars for the tin. I think. Um, I got the electrics all working on it. Uh, for some reason, the voice chip is damaged, and okay. it sounds it sounds <laughs> like uh, it sounds like Megatron, not Optimus Prime. Could that have anything to do with the uh, the saw that you just used <laughs> to dismantle it? <laughs> no, this is beforehand. When I put the batteries back uh-huh. in it, when I put new batteries in it and played it. Um, it, uh, it's yeah, I'm, I'm just going to grab it. I'll grab it, and you can listen yeah. to it. <laughs> so, how's that weather up there, Bill? Yeah, it's all right, mate. Nice <laughs> and toasty. I'm in bed. Oh, uh, yeah? Is outside watching TV, yeah. Yeah, Mrs. Mm. Is watching, what's she watching? Orange is the New Black. 
Oh shit, you know what I did? She's oh, gonna no. kill me. Oh no. No, I don't want to know be an accomplice. Oh, I'm not gonna be stuff. able to hear you, but you can, uh, <laughs> hear this. <laughs> uh, 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 I am Megatron. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't even sound like Prime. I don't know what's wrong with it. You know what you sound like? What's that? You know those guys you see on a current affair and they blur their voices? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know the ones that are like... I did not touch the little children. Yeah. I did not touch that child. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's oh, not yeah. a tumor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm turning it off. Oh, where's the goddamn switch? It's uh, definitely uh, not a Duma. You see, was it... Uh, um, yeah, was yeah, it but... <laughs> oh, sorry. Back. <laughs> I was just saying, did you, did you see... Um, I think it was Bo Ryan on the on the NRL footy show talking to, talking to Arnie. No, I missed piss. that. Oh, it was an What's... absolute piss. So he was doing, like, reciting his best lines and stuff. Yeah. And he gets a tupper and all what's, that stuff. Uh, what's what's NRL? Thinking, Oh, the right, yeah, exactly. Oh, go, right. you Mexican. Rig, 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 rigby? Rigby? <laughs> what, what, what's Rigby? Rigby. What's that, a Beatles song? Uh, More than a woman. Uh, it's a real game, as opposed to what the ballerinas in the Oh, let's, let's grab a ball, run from one end to the other, and bounce and land <laughs> yeah. on the ground. <laughs> uh, let's wear tight, tight shorts and then finglets. Let's have a with tight shorts. <laughs> right. Actually, I'm looking mm. forward to the old state of origin this week. It should be good. Mm. Yeah, it should be good. Oh. It's always good, the old state of origin. Definitely. It's coming back to the south too, apparently. Yes, this Wednesday night. Huh. Just the G. That's um odd. Let's 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 just take it up against the uh the established state of origin. <laughs> mm. 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 Yeah, it is a bit. They yeah. suck. Bigger threat. Mm. Anyway, Bill, anything new this week? <laughs> no, no, nothing, just nil. Nothing's Nada. dropped in the pile of loot. Why? Ooh. I didn't get a vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> Bill! It says, it says so on the call sheet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at it now. Yeah, thank you, Bill. <laughs> Jordan, anything yeah, new no, this I'm, week? I'm still waiting... Uh... I very patiently for a reissue Predator King from from Dylan. It's not his fault at all. It's uh, good old Australia Post doing what they do best. So. <laughs> uh, Which is nothing. Yeah, yeah, he's spot on. <laughs> I dropped into the uh, dropped into the uh, PO down the road, and um, well, you know how long does it usually take for for something to get from. From country Adelaide or country South Australia to, to Vic. And she goes, Oh, yeah, about a week. And huh. it's, I think it's been about three weeks or so now. To oh, at wow. least two, maybe three weeks. Oh, come on, guys. That's pretty piss poor effort. Yeah, yeah. true. But it is absolutely piss poor. Uh, I do. I'll keep, I'll keep waiting patiently. <laughs> hmm. I do have one more thing that come in this week that I uh, must report on. Um, yeah, where's his name? Andrew Burnett. He um he's been doing some resin Autobot and Decepticon faction symbols. Oh yeah, very nice. Um I brought one off, I think it was five dollars to buy I got an Autobot one off him and uh yep. sent it through. Um he took a lot of care in wrapping it in tissue and that to uh make sure it got here. When I got it out of the uh envelope, I um I didn't see why because it's solid. <laughs> mm. it's, it's not like anything can bust off the side, but he, it's got a magnet in the back, so it's on the fridge now. It's a it's a great uh, a great little faction symbol. Um, I'm probably going to get a Decepticon one to go next to it now. <laughs> nice, Very but nice. yeah, it's good. It's only oh, be about fifty cent piece size in diameter mm-hmm. by. Oh, yeah. uh, yeah, by maybe 10, 20 centimetres deep, so that's a decent yeah. chunk of resin. I was going to say plastic. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, that's a nice a nice little thing, and uh, I wouldn't mind a couple more. Having the magnet in the back is definitely a bonus, so I can put it on the fridge or something and have a use for it, other than just sitting on my shelf next to those uh, Revenge of the Fallen heads we got. <laughs> <laughs> 
that don't do anything. But um, yeah, no, that was nice. Very good. Do you know? Do you know what style it is? Do you know, you got different styles for different. Oh, you know? I don't know what he casts it off. Um, <laughs> I'd only assume it's the new, the movie style. If, yep. if it's different to past, I know I know the con one changed. I don't know about the Autobot one though. Yeah, they're slightly different. Like the eyes, I think, are the main difference. Mm. You straight off the mm. bat, but yeah. slight, slight little differences. But for the most part, it's you know obviously, obviously the same. Yep. Yep. All right. That. Uh, oh, I should mention next week, or the week this is released, we are at Supernova. Excellent. Um, I'll have my laptop and recording equipment with me. Uh, whether or not we do a recording on the Saturday night or not mm-hmm. is one thing. Um, after doing Melbourne and seeing where there's gaps in the crowd and everything else, I'll have recording equipment with me at Supernova. And if I can record 20 or 30 minutes of uh, hellos, meet and greets, everything else... Uh, I can just record that as a Off the Rails episode four for Sydney Nova. Um, Fantastic. But you could have you could have like a you know who's who has come to Sydney Nova and then do a little snippet of hi I'm you know get everyone to state their name and where they're from and who they are on the uh, on the club if they've got a um, you know. Well, I was doing that. I was doing that in Melbourne. It just it wasn't being recorded, so. <laughs> yeah, it sort of do like a little snippet type. Oh, thing I, I, I wasn't saying, oh hello, this is this is me talking to this guy. It was like. <laughs> <laughs> now you should get them all to say good day for the podcast, and then do like That's a little yeah. montage or something like that. Yeah, I'd love to do a walk around too and just pull people out of the crowd. But, uh, TCCA straight talk. Yeah, that's exactly that's right. <laughs> and I'll, I'll have though. I'll have the prime helmet on, so I'll have a bit more balls to try it. That's it. Yeah, nice. Before we go, mm-hmm. is, what's this masterpiece info, Jordan? Ah, uh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, I was I was waiting for that. I was going to say, yeah, I might just have something before we go. We know I left it. I don't know. People probably already know about it, but it's about MP27, and it might be a uh, might be a van shaped object. Mm. Who could that be? A red one or a mm. white one? Mm, I'll let people decide on that, but mm. either way, I think um, both will be in the works, you'd say. You'd yeah, think. yeah, definitely. Um, more than likely, most definitely. Yeah. But, um, well, word, just... word I heard it was the red one, and the white mm. one was coming the following year. But... Uh, ah. So, in, in other words, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, this, <laughs> this voodoo robot potion series Salus figure that's currently up for pre-order, you're saying don't, 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 rush, out don't it. rush out and buy it. Don't rush out and buy it. Voodoo? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's called Voodoo Robot. Oh, is this the, uh, is this the third party on yeah. Yeah. yeah, spot on. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, the, uh, we may have talked, no, we didn't talk about this last week. I fear we talked about a, uh, a, a uh, ratchet last week or two. Um, mm. and the, uh, I, I gear weapon specialist and medical specialist. Yeah. Uh, yep. currently the best ones on the third party market. They look pretty good, don't they? I think we were talking about them at um, at Melbourne Super. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Good. I was hoping to find some down there, but didn't. Um, they was they were hanging around the hundred dollar mark. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's um, too bad. I don't know. Think... Someone posted on the group today. One, I think it was one fifty. Okay. Uh, that's a little bit up there. I think yeah, I remember yeah. seeing that actually, like one eighty or something, wasn't it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. They're, they're um, probably they're not. It's a great good, it's a great figure in both modes. Oh, um, <laughs> again, we haven't seen the Takara version, so we don't know what's going to come to uh, compete with those figures. But um, those those new ones if, still look good though. Yeah, if I had if I had the uh, 
the weapons, but the eye gear ones, I don't know if I'd sell them to buy the Takara ones. Mm. Uh, I, think, I think the big that same thing come out with the uh, the Jazz from Transform and Roll Out mm. the week before. Um, yep. If I had that Jazz, I don't see. Yes, okay, Takara is going to do a more realistic um, Porsche mode because they have the license for it, but I'm mm. not going to have it in Porsche mode. It's going to be in Jazz mode. So, <laughs> yeah, well, that that um, that alt mode is pretty spot on, but yeah, yeah, that's that's, look, that looks sexy, like yeah, it does. <laughs> it mm. Plastic sex. So the little. The little uh, speaker edition thing mm. you know, yeah sort of and we've field. talked we've talked about in the past like um mp9 when carrie Phil was first announced like uh if you had mp9 would you sell it to get carrie uh if you had mp5 would you sell it to get a polyon um if you had mp8 would you sell it to get whatever fan toys was going to do at the time um yeah. it's but I mean, they're they're almost they're different. Um, it's a styles, different time, though. yeah. It's a different yeah, time, a mean. different team mm-hmm. engineering it. Is have we got Thomas on board? What, Tom, tank uh, engine. Yeah, I just said it. <laughs> 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 I want you to go to Central, Thomas. <laughs> You're a very useful engine. <laughs> you have people in you that do nothing. That's um, right. <laughs> yeah, so it, it's one of those. It's one of those things. And if I well, like, I had Citizen Stack, so I had no need for MP22. Mm. Um, same, I had the Toy World B, so I had no yeah. need for the Takara Bumblebee. I'm going to get it next week at Nova, um, mm. only because I've done a deal with someone to pick it up used for cheap, yep. um, and it'll be in bot mode, and the toilet one can be in his chibi little alt mode, mm-hmm. um, just sitting in my collection. He's, he's gone, uh, did he? Oh yeah, I packed him away, he's, he's going to be at Nova, so nice. chibi, chibi B will be there. Um, yeah, so it's, it's one of those things, like, you'll get you'll get people that want to get the next available whatever comes out newer, mm. better, better whatever else, but... I mean, I don't know. Look, I think the Masterpiece line obviously has got its own aesthetic. Yeah. Its own look, and, like, I don't know, some of these third-party figures don't seem to fit that well with them. Yeah. If you kind of get what I'm trying to say, Ooh, you know what parts, I mean? Like, parts count in aesthetic. Designers. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like the, the third-party figures are too complicated for mm. Masterpiece. Yeah. They're trying to almost too hard to compete, and because yeah. each third party has got their own designer or whatever, mm. or, or several it, yeah. designers. E- I Where mean, even the, the the designs, Jordan, in like you know, like the, all that tech detail they put on the figures. Do you know what I mean? Well, all if... those extra sculpted details. Like yeah. I'm just looking at Weapon Specialist. You know, not Ironhide now. Yep. Yep. You know, and he's got all these rivets on his forearms and, you yeah, know, yeah. all this detail. If, Do you think they're if, maybe trying to go for a, for a um, IDW look or something, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, it's just like, but if you were to put, I, I mean, I reckon it's going to be night and day when the official ones announce and they throw up comparison photos. Yeah. Well, what's, you put, mar, right, you put mar, masterpiece figures on this shelf Mm. What's what's the shelf above that? Oh, that's the top of the what, cabinet, really. What, yeah, what do you, what do you call that? <laughs> it's not it's not Prime One Studios because that's that's on top of the cabinet. Um, but what do you do above Masterpiece? And it seems like all of these third party companies are making they're not making a mar- they're making a Masterpiece scaled figure, but mm. not a Masterpiece quality figure it's the next step above as you said like oh, absolutely. panels panels have got rivets yeah. uh lights lighting mm-hmm. whatever else to uh incorporate into the figure itself mm-hmm. um i mean and just look at i mean just look at the sheer number of accessories that the yeah. not ironhide came with yeah yep you know it's got like twin gatling guns buzz saws pistols a cleaver a visor uh 
a, a sniper rifle with a, you know a scope and they do, they do yeah. go all out with the X. Ex- they the don't ex- go over and over. What does what does Takara give you? Like a, a fucking blue lunchbox well, with wheeljack. Look, yeah, well, that's it. yeah, yeah. Look at look at Ultra <laughs> Magnus. Look at ult- yeah. yeah, look at Ultra Magnus. Like he could have had an extra, a lot more detail put into him. Yeah, um, yeah. A lot of a lot of just plain blue and red panels or white panels with no detail involved. Mm. Um, I mean, I, I suppose that was the catch was was trying to be toy uh, not toy accurate, cartoon accurate. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. a fairly bland figure, but then you go, well, ugh, well yeah. Well, that's their that's their mantra. They've they've gone for cartoon accuracy. That's why that's his it. that's why his bumper's red and his gun's purple. Yeah. So, um, yeah. You know, it's it's, yeah, nah. it's an inter- it's an interesting one. It, um, oh, definitely. And you're going to have fans of you know either or, or you're going to have people that like both on their shelves. You know, there's no right or wrong. Mm. It's just no in, it's just to... interesting because really the only we had MP1 through to MP9, and the only real well, I suppose now we've got two now two redos at the Prime and Starscream or the Seeker mold, and. Yes, they have improved. Oh, in my opinion, both molds of improvement on the original. Um, oh, absolutely. Definitely, uh, definitely having M- playing with your MP1 in. Oh, <laughs> it's MP1 with the trailer, so MP4 um, in Melbourne, no, Jordan. It's, it's still MP1. I I bought that trailer separate, eh? Hey? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. That yeah, that, that that original diecast. That um, yes, engineering wise. They made it so front of the truck become the chest, which is a flaw for that figure, whereas MP10, yes, his chest and front of the truck are different. Um, mm. Yeah, his, his, his robot mode chest is actually under the, or inside the truck okay. and, and comes out. It doesn't, mm-hmm. it doesn't all fold out like the G1 toy to make yeah. the, uh, the chest from the truck, and it, it's just... <laughs> Because of that, it can um, it can be a lot better sculpt. It does look it. Yeah, yeah, but you can't you can't deny that weight of that figure. <laughs> oh, it's a oh, heavy. Mate, that's really... yeah. There's there's nothing <laughs> else. That's that. It feels heavier than the bloody <laughs> Titan uh, Metroplex. God, uh, should be should be yeah. out. Yeah, right. yeah, but there's only that that and the it will. I think you'll find everyone will agree that the Seeker mold was definitely improved when they done MP11 over the yeah, uh, MP3 true. and the later MP6. Oh, oh except for the null rays, man. Yeah, those little arms are attached to a horrible. Yeah, those yeah. null rays are like... Uh, your ones. Because mm. I was having a look at my mate's one. And there's yeah. like... Uh, okay. And the plastic feels... You can notice a difference. Yeah. Well, if you pick up a... An MP3 and an MP, like, oh, what was I looking at? What was the green one? Acid Storm. Yeah, well, Acid Storm and Sunstorm are the same mold. Yeah, you can actually, you can, like, I felt it anyway. I mean, the, the earlier mold seemed a lot sturdier, maybe a different grade of plastic, I don't know. Yeah. Mm. It's definitely, um, I've played with mine in, oh, maybe a couple of weeks ago now, but it's, it's still stiff as, like, some of the, the joints on it and some of the, Little you know, bits that you fold in. It's it's real tough to sort of get in and out and move around and stuff. Mm. That, that was, again, that was a different. That was with their first designer, and then I think oh, I couldn't say around which mold they changed, but I think it was after MP5. Hey, yeah, uh, and then from from then till MP8. Is when I think MP8 was that, that's Rodimus, is it or nine? Uh, nine's Rodimus, eight's Grimlock. Oh, well, I think it was nine. They got a new designer in, um, and then well, from there, I hear, I hear that, but but that Rodimus doesn't. The Rodimus suits, but Hot Rod doesn't. So it's oh yeah, it's it's Rodimus first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I do it love wasn't, it. Wasn't it was never meant to scale as Hot yeah. Rod. No, it's just it's just huge in both it respects. Is. And yeah, so. I think could that figure possibly be the greatest triple changer we have ever got? Because that thing in 
hot rod car and Rodimus mm. Rodimus mode, Rodimus alt mode. Normally, when they do a triple change, you only got to look at the generations of Springer, the um, mm. what's the other one, Blitzwing, and Sunstorm. <laughs> yeah. uh, mm. Normally, one mode has to fail so the other two succeed. Yeah, yeah. That masterpiece, Hot Rodimus. If you can get the Takara one that comes with the trailer, at that alt mode for Hot Rod is exceptional. Oh, it's spot on. It's dead yeah. on. It's dead spot on. on. Yeah. yeah and then, then to only do a couple of parts changes, that to have it then insert into that trailer, mm. and it's spot on again, I don't... I can't but recall... Of... I can't recall oh. seeing that, that Winnebago mode next to the MP10, but it, from what I've seen, it sort of looks like it would scale... It's, it fits very well, yeah. Yeah, mm. it may be slightly bigger, but not... Not no, big enough no. to, to worry about. Um, no, the only uh, the yeah. only hang up with that is when you're looking at the hot rod alt, uh, bot mode. But mm. but you just make him Rodimus and. Oh, that's it. Problem yeah. solved. Yeah. Yeah. Problem. I think there's a um. There was word out that there's a mar- uh, third party hot rod coming. So. Okay, that'd be interesting. Yeah, just get that and put next to you. Prime. All, all they've got to do is just shrink the MP9 mold. Yeah. Bingo. Yeah. Done. Yeah, really. Oh, Same yeah. thing they did with um with MP1. Just yeah, the, that 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 really faith some minor changes. Yeah, that faith leader or something wasn't a Jordan. They gave us some yeah, had some, some weird name like Faith PPO1 or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're right with that. Yeah. yeah well, but all, all it was was yeah, they just took the MP1 and shrunk it down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Iggy, Iggy took the Seekers and made them into Coneheads, so maybe if they're not doing anything yeah. at the moment. <laughs> yeah. 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 Give us a, give us a uh, one-third scale <laughs> <laughs> Rodimus, uh, hot rod to go for our MP10. That's oh, it. look, the, that, I was going to say before about that, um, the Rodimus, the, the Winnebago thing, the mm. front, it's, obviously it's made up massively by that, um, it's, it's like a big mask type thing or wrap around type thing yeah. you just sort of mm. put together yeah. and and, mm-hmm. and off you go. But you know, in, incorporating the the hot rod part of the car and and to to get two figures in one in in a sense, they've they've done well. Oh, absolutely. Mm. Mm. Know anyone Great. with a gun with with an MP09 gun <laughs> for sale? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I hear Benny's picked up a new MP9. So <laughs> there's you. been there's been a couple on the group going yeah. cheap, cheap too, man. Like that oh, was Lenny, yeah. Yeah. Lenny yeah. for a hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. can't go wrong. I oh, know. I can't remember who Champion. bought it, but I was tempted to hit him Benny. up. Benny, oh, Benny bought that, did he? Benny bought it from Lenny. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Ben, Benny brought it from Lenny. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. I think even threw in some lemons or something to seal the deal. I don't know. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Oh, the and a bloody um, avocado. God. Avocado. Oh, that's it. God. <laughs> yeah, but a hundred bucks, like champion. Like, yeah. yeah. That's it. How do you beat that? Anyway, yeah. let's let's end. We'll end this uh, the show, and then we can keep on talking afterwards. <laughs> We've just mm. gone on for another twenty minutes with no feedback. That concludes the show for this evening. Uh, Where can we find you, Brad? I am everywhere. Uh, admin TCCA, admin Jurassic World Australia. I am also admin on uh, Jurassic Park, the group, which is an international uh, Jurassic Park group, and third-party Transformers community and its sister site, the uh, third-party Transformers community buy, sell, trade. Fantastic. You are everywhere, mate. Yes, you and are. of course on Twitter at Brad Mullen Twitter, and I'm also admitting the TCCA Twitter page at Transformers TCCA, which uh, we're a bit sad over there at the moment because I'm not a Twitter phobe, so. <laughs> yeah. Mate, I'll, I'll... You are a Twitter phobe. I am a Twitter phobe, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I try, I try, but it's it's worse than trying to keep up the the uh, news page on Facebook. It's especially if you've got more than twenty or thirty followers or people mm. you follow, and it's it's insane. But 
I'm trying to I'm trying to uh, do more things over there. But uh, Jordan, the man from Melbourne. You can find me down on the avenue at St Kilda. No. <laughs> Boy, on the avenue. <laughs> Don't know how much to do. Just walking the streets, mate, looking for money. Yeah. Don't you <laughs> flip. Don't you flip with the boy on the avenue. Just don't dance on the I prefer, short, um, I prefer um, Roxanne. <laughs> Of, you know, more like Jordan, you don't have to put on the red light. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! Yeah, no, I've just got my email, mate, and on the Facebook, just my name, Jordan Trevorrow, and you know my email. I think. Mm. I hope. Yes, he is. Uh, he is Jordan. one of the Victorian Jordan. representatives and Melbourne people. Uh, yes. Get used to his name because we will be down there in September. We certainly will. Come and have a chat. Yep. Bill. H. Yeah, just just tag me. Tag just tag me. Just tag. You find me. Don't... You find me. I don't find you. You find me. Lovely. Lovely. All right, gents. Been a pleasure. It's a redo from last week, but uh, hopefully this time, audio issues aside, we have succeeded. Fantastic. Uh, I've been Brad. I've been I've Bill. Been. I have been Jordan for half of the podcast. Uh, three quarters. Yeah, <laughs> three quarters. Good. Uh, thank you, gentlemen. It has, uh, it has been a week. Uh, it's been a night and uh, we will see some of you next week which will be this week at Supernova ta-ta bye kids thank you goodbye bye thank you for downloading this latest episode of Off the Shelf the voice of the Transformers Collectors Club Australia for further information check out Facebook where we have our Off the Shelf page hit like or even check out the Transformers Collectors Club Facebook group any and all feedback is more than welcome. Um, you can send email to transformerscca at gmail.com or head on over to iTunes and leave us a review there. Also, Podbean have a review section where you can rate us and that way we get out to more people. Till all the one. Oh, yeah, yeah, that that hundred dollar Rodimus. I, I was late to the boat on that. It's good, but yeah, again, you were still in I bed. Had... That was fucking gone in three seconds. Yeah, it was a game <laughs> like gone. I know Simon. Simon had his, his. He offered his Rodimus up to me as well, and I just oh, really? if I was going to pay the money, I really wanted to get the Takara with the trailer mm. because nice. it'd be displayed standing in his trailer next to me. G1. Nah, he should have told me. <laughs> Right. We shipped it up in a bloody express post bag to you. Oh no 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 no! This is Dubai. This oh. is there, yeah, not the display. His um Simon was selling his. Oh, that's right. He was too, wasn't he? Yeah, and it's only it's only the the Hasbro one. Yeah. Mm. And all the ones, all the ones that have been for sale have been the Hasbro one, but. Yeah. Um. Still, still wouldn't mind the gun. I can't. <laughs> did they? Did they? Did Takara sell just the trailer alone? Like they did with the MP one or no, four. I've not to think of nah. Yeah, I didn't think so. No, just all together. I was surprised that they brought out just um, just hot rod. Hey, mm. I would have thought they'd done the whole kit and caboodle, but no, apparently not. <laughs> That's awesome, eh? Hey? Marketing him as Rodimus Pro. Oh, yeah, it just. He just turns into hot rod. <laughs> your, fa- your favorite G one Transformer has returned in masterpiece form. <laughs> hot rod. Hot rod. Correct the entire masterpiece series and send in the coupons, and we will send you a Rodimus trailer. <laughs> Corresponding country supply. <laughs> <laughs> there was everyone Saturday. Oh, oh bugger, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, What's Can't this um? What's this Transformers Devastation video revealed? 
Don't steak. click on it, man. You'll get that another ad that plays for like. Yeah, I'll get Energizer Bunny again, but. Mm. Yeah. Well, look, what does it say? Pure Xbox says this game is heading to Xbox 360 for certain. Mm, I don't have one, so. Yeah, <laughs> devastation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow. Well, you're Optimus Prime and you run around and you shoot, you do. Ramil's got a Quake Way for sale. Yeah. 400, that's tempting. Just Ooh. wait for. Just, mate, word on the street is it's going to be reissued in Christmas anyway, so. Oh, yeah, but our raffles before Christmas. That's yeah. alright. I'm oh. sure the kids will understand. Fuck. That'd, be um, a, that'd be a tier one product. Yeah, it would. Is that yeah, make it gonna... for 2016, Brad. Okay, Jordan's going to be a little bit. Yes, listeners, we are organised. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> the magic of editing, I'll remove that. Um, That's it. Transformers Collectors Club Australia, we are on Facebook. Oop. Timing. Half a minute, half an hour. All right. Jordan, be half an hour. Mm. Get all this crap out of the way. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Edit. Has bro, yeah, but he's got a crown because you know we all know Starscream isn't Starscream unless he's got a crown. Just hang on a minute. I got a bloody ad plane. Are you in your friggin' Newport stage? I've got. I've been hit by a clickbait (laughs) thing when it like it took me it took me Mm. five goes to get this picture up. And mm-hmm. when it finally does come up, all of a sudden this ad starts playing in the corner. I've got eight seconds to, before I can close it. Oh, man. And it's just, yeah, because I've noticed me, uh, me Skype call recorder, it it uh, it records everything, even if I mute my microphone. Oh, okay, because it's going through the laptop or through your, the computer, or your yeah, iPad. Yeah. Or through the yeah. computer. Oh, so it's picking up all that yeah. noise. So. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> deleting all that. They can't do that aesthetic because it will be MP8, and they've tried to make more detailed panels, more detail where they can, and it just does not. Oh, for fuck's sake! Add. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> We're keeping that. <laughs> oh, don't delete that one. And I click and I click the X. I click the X to close it, and it goes into the bloody website. Oh, stupid Energizer man running wrong for his motorbikes. Ah, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I was I was talking to Bill before when we started the show, Jordan. I was in at the bank today and uh, discussing the incorporate bank account and that for the group and uh, or for yep. the club and. Um, all the those free tell it's a, it's a free teller branch and uh, though I started yapping about Transformers, the one I was talking to seen me shirt. I was wearing the purple Decepticon T C C A shirt. And nice. uh <laughs> Yeah. And um, well I normally wear the Autobot red and I thought oh, I'll just wear the purple for once today and it uh, <laughs> it were well, yeah. It um, hopefully got Who a couple of new members. Your eyes? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very nice. Mm. <laughs> So and and they they voiced their opinions on the movies, saying yeah they love the movies. I'm thinking okay they uh they also said how much they love the cartoon series where at the end there was the big head floating around the planet. So they uh they were they, they were obviously uh 85 children, not 84 children. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> they seen they seen season three growing up and not the first two, but um yes. yeah. Anyway. Tonight on Where Are My Pants, honey. Where are my pants? <laughs> <laughs> what was I just thinking? I don't care.